come on! Trunks is way past cooler than furry Kyle Reese. It is hard to imagine Trunks losing to anyone. However, Silver ironically had just about everything he needed to put the half Saiyan six feet under. First off, time travel wasn't much of a factor, since they were both pretty well versed in it. Either way, Silver's psychokinesis could disrupt tech like the hero switch and the time travel armband, leaving Trunks without his gadgets and primary method of hopping through time. I don't know why, but Death Battle Act, like it's impossible for characters to over silver abilities, and like he would take anything Trunks will use. But guess what? Many characters have cancelled silver abilities so why Trunks can't? Especially after Death Battle claim, he's stronger even than Super Silver. Let's be frank, in base form, Silver never stood a chance at matching Trunks with his own power. Even in his super form, it's questionable whether or not Super Silver had the physical ability to match Super Saiyan Trunks. But since Death Battle, want you to think, Silver completely outmatched Trunks. They wrote that Silver is stronger, even though they claim that even Super Saiyan 1 Trunks can probably match Super Silver. Let's be frank, in base form, Silver never stood a chance at matching Trunks with his own power. Even in his super form, it's questionable whether or not Super Silver had the physical ability to match Super Saiyan Trunks. <laughs> In short, it's practically impossible to lock down exact numbers and limits for their power levels. So Trunks could have probably taken a win if he found an opening. Here, they failed to explain. Trunks is more experienced, skilled, and have better battle IQ, and maybe even IQ in general, so he would have found an opening. But Silver's psychic powers have worked around similar disadvantages before. Interjack was way stronger than him, could match the power of Supersonic, and conquered all of Mobius. But Silver could consistently Una reverse card his attacks back at him, and he wasn't even super at that time. Silver can only turn back. Trunks' key attacks. Trunks as a skilled fighter eventually will understand it and stop using it. He can use many of his stuff to find himself an opening. Trunks isn't an idiot who'll use his key attacks, until he hit. Also, Trunks fought Black Goku, for a year, the same Black Goku, who said, he came to kill, and not play games. This Black Goku survived, blew Vegeta attacks, and was able to hurt him, just in his base form, and Trunks fought with this guy, for a year, and that's Trunks before he trained with Vegeta, let alone got his last form. When we think about it, Trunks did it most of his life, since he also survived years, fighting the androids. Trunks was obviously much faster than Goku's trip to hell. He could easily be sextillions or septillions of times faster than light, maybe even more. However, by the very nature of Dragon Ball powers, his speed must have a limit, even if it is impossible to know an exact number given what we've seen. I know it's hard for Death Battle to believe, but Dragon Ball characters aren't limited in everything. Xeno Trunks actually have immeasurable speed. He was able to fly beyond space-time in his base. And of course, there are more evidence to prove he has immeasurable speed. And that's just base Trunks. Current Trunks far faster. But Archie's super forms have consistently shown incalculable speeds. Sure, Goku broke through Hit's time skip, but that actually has nothing to do with speed. As explained by Whis, the effectiveness of time manipulation in the world of Dragon Ball depends on the difference in power level between the caster and their target. Such as when Kronoa attempted a time stop on Mira and failed, due to Mira's energy being stronger. Z Death Battle, using Canon Dragon Ball, 
to scale nun canon. Dragon Ball characters. Are you kidding me? Xeno characters are far beyond. Death Battle also failed. To explain Gyron is beyond time. By the gods. And this canon Gyron is far weaker than most of the characters in Heroes. Xeno vs. Goku has also mentioned how increasing his energy affects space and time around him. That's not proving your point. It's just Xeno Goku. Proving his own existence is beyond those concepts, but he used key control to not to affect them. He also beyond fate manipulation, but that's just base Goku. It isn't even the current one. In any other matchup, this would be totally buck wild itself. But no, Archie super forms just have to break time itself. It's also difficult to put an exact number on Trunks' maximum level of power. The strongest beings in his continuity can affect his entire multiverse, which has infinite timelines plus the crack of time outside. The reason why he's so strong is because people that can hold the entire multiverse together are absolute fodder to him. For example, Kronoa, or the Supreme Kai of Time, is able to hold the entire multiverse together, but is absolute fodder to even Krillin in Dragon Ball Heroes. Kronoa even merged timelines together, which is like combining two multiverses together, which is better than anything even canon Zeno has done. And once again, this is absolute fodder to Zeno Goku. The main heavy hitter within scaling Zeno Goku is a man named Demigra. Demigra is the king of the demons and is an absolute monster. Demigra's whole plan was to destroy an infinite amount of timelines which house infinite multiverses within them. These multiverses themselves are fifth dimensional. That means if Demigra was going to destroy an infinite amount of them, that makes himself sixth dimensional. This is before his transformation into his more powerful form. And once again, this is absolute fodder to base form Zeno Goku. Not only does base Zeno Goku defeat the first and second form of Demigra, but he also beats the third form who was going to destroy the real world and not just the Dragon Ball continuity. This puts Zeno Goku at easily outer versal to absolute boundless. He is so strong that he's restricted to only using Super Saiyan to fight. Because if he uses Super Saiyan 4, he will be a threat to all of time. And I'm talking about every timeline in Dragon Ball history, which I said before to be infinite. He's so strong that people who even control fate itself hold no candle to him in base form. He's so strong, I can't even list out all of his hacks on one screen. He's so strong that he can give Capsule Corp Goku a run for his money, and this is the same Goku who trained with the Grand Priest himself. He's so strong that Elder Kai needs to make a dimension void of time and space just for the man to train a little bit. There's I know this video talks about Xeno Goku, and not Trunks, but that's some old stuff, and way before Trunks got the god form. Just think about it, in Heroes. Characters get beyond fusion characters, in matter of episodes, just for the hype. You seriously think, Archie characters build the same. In contrast, chaos magic wielded by a super form like Supersonic can rewrite the infinite timelines in Archie Sonic's multiverse. It was only affecting two multiverses, as also stated by Flynn, who you took statements from. I also made many videos, explaining those feats. Why they aren't as impressive, as people think. Link in the description. There. Plus, unlike Sonic, Silver spent many years being trained how to use Chaos Magic by the guy who invented it. Hell, if Mega Man could rewrite reality just minutes after learning he could even use the Chaos Emeralds at all, imagine what craziness Silver could pull up. For start, Trunks has experience fighting a guy who used Chaos Force. Meet Mecha Kabura, and once again Death Battle, failed to explain, Sonic who is more experienced than Mega Man, yet failed to fix his reality unlike Mega Man, so it's not like Mega Man, is the Chaos Force beginner, but more like to have a natural talent over it. Oh. Trunks' best chance was the Key Sword's ability to nullify powers, like it did to Mechikabura. However, the Super Genesis Wave explicitly could not rewrite the presence of Super Sonic or Super Mega Man, despite being able to rewrite even the extra-dimensional Chaos Force from whence it came. It's likely Silver's Super Form could resist the Key Sword, at least for a time. That's actually a legit point, but it could have not affected Sonic, 
since he the guy who used the emeralds, for chaos control, for example, Eggman wasn't supposed to be affected, by his plan to rewrite the multiverse, because he the guy who used the emeralds, and made them not to affect him, so probably, Supersonic used the chaos power, to not affect him, as he is a chaos master.